Morning, beloveds. I thought I'd come on here to do a reading and Spirit gave me the plant oracle this morning. So let's use this and see for the collective energies what message we have for you. Hope everyone's well. There's a lot going on at the moment still, uh, but we're moving forward with our actions and taking no notice of these other energies that are coming in. I was chanting this morning at five o'clock, probably this morning in my sleep, <laughs> but I was aware of my chanting and I wish I knew the messages actually, uh, but they were beautiful because I was quite restless last night. I don't know if everybody else was. Okay, so let's see what we've got, Spirit. So for the collective energies, what message do you have with the beautiful plant oracle filled with a pure white light? Okay, so what have you got for me? Okay, so this one came out, which was reversed, and it was plantum, plantum. Here we go. So the reversed means plantum. Okay, I'll find it in a minute. Plantain, not plantum. Right, so it's not upright and reversed. When life gets difficult, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking like a victim or martyr. We all have spells when we just seem to suffer one problem after another, and it feels impossible to break out of the cycle. If you've drawn this card reversed, it may suggest that you need to understand your situation in a different way. Imagine that what you need is way down beneath you, in the earth, and deep down inside you. Instead of reaching out to be saved, by looking for someone or something that can rescue you, try reaching in, hunkering down, then becomes not res resignation, resignation and fatalism, but the act of drawing on your secret source of power. Weakness turns into strength and the will will turn. Wow, that's beautiful. I'll read out this. One of the Gaelic names for plantain is slanlos, which means plant of healing, and shows how much it was revered for its considerable healing powers. The Maoris and Native Americans have called it Englishman's foot because of its pros propensity to spring up whenever the white man travelled. And in Britain, as well as being called rat's tails, it has been known as angel's harps since when the leaves are pulled apart the fibers can be seen in a harp like formation the ancient greeks and romans wrote of its medicinal medicinal properties having such faith in its healing powers that they believed it could cure mad dogs Similar hopes were pinned on the plant by Native Americans who called it snakeweed, believing it could counteract rattlesnake poisoning. Modern research shows that plantain contains compounds that are anti-inflammatory and antibacterial and which stimulate the immune system. The plant contains mucilage, which is soothing to the intestines, and the seed husks of sand plantain Plantago facilium have recently become popular in detoxing regimes. 
Plantain leaves contain tannins, which are astringent and antiviral, making them ideal for applying directly to wounds. These properties can be released simply by chewing the fresh or dried leaf, which can then be put straight into the affected area. It is no wonder that the plant was quickly adopted into Maori and Native American herb law. And by the time herbals were being written by the Greeks and Romans during the time of the ancient Druids, plantains healing properties were well known. Amazing. I've actually got some plantain herb, which I can use as a tea today. Um, the combination of its astringency and its soothing mucilage also makes it ideal for treating ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome and hemorrhoids. The renowned herbalist Mr Greaves said de de decoctions of plantain entered into almost every old remedy. Now we understand why. Wonderful. Have a wonderful day and lots of love and blessings to you.